Hi, my name is Yi Jen. I'm an ADTP student, an ex-ADTP student. I joined in August 2016 and I'm now studying in Wichita State University. In Wichita, I'm studying aerospace engineering. In the field of aerospace engineering, for your undergrad, um, it's pretty much divided into two sections. So you have aeronautical and astronautical engineering. So for aeronautical, you deal with anything in the atmosphere with air. And with astronautics, you deal with stuff out of the atmosphere, so in space. So you deal with satellites, orbital dynamics, how to position a satellite, how to fire a spacecraft in the correct orbit in different planets, stuff like that. And with aerospace engineering, pretty much the gist of it is that once you graduate, you can design aircraft and spacecraft. Basically anything that has air passing over it, so like cars, you know, some cars also need to have a specific shape to reduce drag. So aerospace engineers are also very highly needed in that area. You know, you can design buildings in very windy areas. That is also the job of an aerospace engineer. For your undergrad degree, it's very wide. You do stuff in the atmosphere and out of the atmosphere, but once you decided to go for a master's degree, you can narrow it down to whichever field you want or whichever topic in aerospace that you want. In programming, the language that I have used in my course in university is MATLAB. So we use MATLAB for a lot of things, but most of the language works very similarly. It's like speaking in Malay and speaking in English. You can both convey the same message. It's just that the words are different. So even if you take a particular language here, it's still very easy to cope with a different language because all the words, all the syntax, how they work, how they're all structured, they're all pretty much identical. So for anyone who wants to do aerospace engineering, you, you need to be very fluent in maths. I know uh, not a lot of students who graduated from public high school, government schools, have very good background in coding. So you definitely want to do that, learn how to code online. And here in MCKL, we also do offer coding courses like Java, Python, C++. So that's also a very good start. Um, be fluent in your English because you're gonna have to explain a lot of things, especially because aerospace engineering is very complicated. So be fluent in that as well. Here in MCKL, there's a public speaking course, which turned out to be my favorite course in the entire program. So that helped me to you know, learn how to be confident and speak in front of a large group of people.